Good morning and greetings from central Louisiana, just a few miles west of Dry Prong. I had started to keep this as a laid back day, but I got to tinkering a little bit and studying on my drive shaft oil seal issue and I played with it a little bit this morning and I said, well, let's go get the iPhone. These folks might be interested in it. So here's what I found it back there. I took a pick back there and reached and pulled it out. This is what's left of the innards, innards of an oil, oil seal. Notice I used the word innards, but that tells me for sure the oil seal is shot, which yeah, I already knew that, but I also looked hard and the bearing back there looks like it's intact. So we will be going back there and taking the front receiver off that holds this oil seal in preparation to replace it and I'll inspect the bearing while I'm in there. Anybody want to buy a used oil seal? I, I sell it to you cheap. Okay, I've done a little preliminary here. I've gotten back in here and started loosening up the bolts. You know, most of y'all have seen the wrench turn, so I'm not sure if that's that interesting to you. All right, now you got light. Let me go back here and finish taking these bolts out. And that piece should just fall forward and out. That's what I use the word should. about we tap it with a hammer lightly very lightly I think I felt it turn loose. There it is. Let me see if I can get my old weary bones up. And look, yep. Bearing looks in good shape, at least from this viewpoint. So that's good. I need that. Need that good news. That's a little less I'll have to spend. And I've been using the case IH online parts manual to look up parts and they have them but they are pricey so I guess I'll go to my secondary sources and there's the receiver however you want to call it that holds the oil seal oh, old folks shouldn't have to bend over like that can't breathe when you do that so, and this is directional. You notice there's a spot there for the oil to drain out of it. But this oil, fit, oil seal is fairly well shot. And that's the reason it was leaking. So, what's Wayne going to do? Wayne's going to take it out here and put it in the diesel bath. And we'll let it soak a while. And then we'll try cleaning it up so I can handle it without wearing gloves all the time. I really didn't say much about this when I pulled it out. Other than it was the oil seal is pretty well shot. Some of the, the rubbers here, the spring was gone in, which would hold it tight. But like I say, this has been leaking. So it's time to replace. This is a 
National. And there is the part number. It's also an original, it's original IA, so this is most likely original to the tractor, or at least it was a part was replaced from approved OEM parts, but this is this could date as far back as 1943. Well, I had possibly been pondering about what I'm going to do about a gasket. Here's the old one. It fell off just a second ago. At least I got a nice template. It's nice and greasy enough to make an imprint on another piece of gasket material, and I can create a new gasket. I don't think I want to use make a gasket here because you're working blind up in there, but this is a directional gasket. This ain't part of it. This is something junk I had laying around. But you know it's a notch in the bottom. That's a directional receiver. It lets the oil drain back down and back into the crankcase gear area. So, have I prattled on long enough today? Most people say yes. If you want, give me a comment. Give me a like. You must subscribe if you really like what you see or think I can improve. Tell me what's going on, folks. I can only improve if you help me.